Hello, I am Joe. This is my show, show. The Moonwalking, Moonwalking Kingdom, Kingdom, where I'm proving that the Michael Jackson state is mid. Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson estate is super mid. Okay, we're going. All right. Hello, and oh my God, the Moonwalking Kingdom has has been opened. You have entered the gates to another video uh, with my good pal Julian, the Randall of Moonwalking Kingdom. Hi. Please tell me if anybody gets that. Uh, <laughs> anybody? Uh, anyway, subscribe to Nightline Eighty Four. Yes, he doesn't make anything. So. No. But just, just just please That's subscribe. Right. You should subscribe to him because he makes nothing. Anyway, uh, we're gonna be making a video about the Michael Jackson estate. You know, there's so many things that people have to say about it. Um, good, bad, um, you know, ugly, ugly. Yeah, very, very uh, mixed uh, as well. It's a lot. Yeah, we'll be going through all the things that make them good, make them bad. Uh, well, well, first off, and I think we'll probably go with overall opinions after we talk about everything that they have done over the past um fifteen years, ever since Michael died in two thousand nine. So I'm gonna refer to the FAQ site. I'm gonna just read it off here, and I'll be including the up to date stuff. And then we'll be also talk about their social media and their merch and everything will be talked about. And I'm pretty sure this is a very popular topic, considering many people have expressed their feelings towards the Michael Jackson estate over the past time. So I'm gonna go to this website now, and. Let's see what they have to say. 2009, they put out, this is it, documentary and CD. Um, this is originally was not going to happen um, because of the, um, a, I think something with AEG and uh, the family not wanting it to, to come out. And AEG, AEG was putting it in our, you know, putting that in our faces and AEG, um, is the blame if people say AG is the reason why Michael's not here anymore? And you know, there's just a lot of a lot of a lot of things behind that. Screw them. I they're they're you know. But anyway, um, how do you feel about the documentary and the CD? Um, honestly, I think the the documentary is fine. I I actually really like it. Um, and I it's always a fun watch. But um. Uh, the CD, it's your standard, uh, stereotypical like compilation album. Uh, there's nothing really too special though. They did throw in the demos, uh, for I believe both Billy Jean and Beat It. Oh, um, want to be starting something and want to be starting something, Start yeah. Life and then the planet Earth, um... yes. And then they also threw in This Is It, which at the time was brand new as well. Orchestra version and the orchestra, yeah, the orchestra version is phenomenal, That's by the way. Favorite version of this is it is the orchestra version i'd love to hear the original though with just him and the piano 100 percent um so that documentary um yeah i i love watching that documentary because you always find something different every time you watch it it's like absolutely oh, remember this i don't remember this for last time i don't remember that so it's a it's a very very good watch and it's a it, and i personally think it was it was out Another reason it could be out was made because the fans, you know, the fans wanted to see. Exactly. Like, you know, this is it, you know, like it was promised to come. And unfortunately, you know, it didn't because of his death. And just at least the fans getting that little piece of what could have been, I think, is 100 percent worth it. And I really appreciate uh, that, you know, seriously. When I was a kid, I thought the concert did happen, except it was in a movie. Like, like oh, did you see This Is It in the movies? Mm. Like, oh, no, I didn't see it. This was, like, years ago. This was, like, I, I even know, like, the whole thing, like, that the concert never happened and everything. But now, obviously. but When uh, I was a kid, I used to think that he died, like, the day of the show. Mm. And so, like, I thought, like, oh, like, when the audience was waiting for him to, like, 
uh, basically come out, they announced his death, like, the day of the first show. Like, that's what I thought when I was a kid. All right, now we're gonna move on to um twenty ten, and then we go to um the <laughs> Michael Jackson the experience. Mm -hmm. well, this was like the first iteration of Michael Jackson the experience and Michael. Right. So Michael, as we all know, uh, and and I and, and and I think this is the main factor as to why people are pissed and they can't trust everything the estate does anymore. And they still refer back to the Michael album with three fake songs. And then, um, and I'd be a hundred percent. And this is, this is just from my point of view, even without the fake songs, the album was kind of mid. Like, uh, yeah. Yeah. Honestly, it's like, like, like the way you love me is fine. Uh, hold my hands kind of mid um Ho hollywood tonight is probably the best song of the whole album i love hollywood tonight much too soon e everything best of joy is like all right it's it's good i i, I like it um and then um i can't make another day is all right it's good yeah song but nothing and behind the mask uh i, I like behind the mask or, I, I really think um, that was great the one on something we'll talk about later we'll talk about that one later Go for it. yeah um yeah oh, don't you yeah, know is that so michael um as an album yeah like, again the three fake tracks uh and, and like the thing is it's like originally it was supposed to come out um what was the other what's the other title for chicago i forget um she was loving me she was loving me like she was loving me was supposed to, was considered to go on there i think also do you know where your children are was also considered and, to be on uh, there what a lovely way to go what a lovely way to go i think if those were the three songs that were on there i think the album would have been a much stronger oh, album way to go it would have been called i think it would have been called lovely way or lovely way yeah um they would have used like the mark ronson mm -hmm. so that's not a, like literally only a 10 second snippet of that is on youtube yeah Pe people thought it was fake but nope it's real um Um, I, I I wish that was the album. I think if that was the album, I think the album would be much stronger of an album. I also wouldn't have I, I also wouldn't have minded I am a loser. I'm a loser would have been great on there too. Um okay, we got uh Michael Jackson experience as a concept, it's pretty good and I love it. Popular for that. It, it, the game is immensely popular. Mm -hmm. Even today, people still people still talk about it. Talk about it, like they refer back. Oh, you remember ghosts? Yeah, like, like that. Me, me, and my brother back in 2010 while my parents yeah, were arguing. You know, that song became pretty popular from because of that game, mm -hmm. and it drew a lot of people. Um, and that's sort of what they're doing now too. Um, but uh, as a as a game, it's not good at all. Um, no, the choreography isn't like on par with like michael's actual choreo for these songs and then like they they do dance moves that i as as a michael jackson fan you can't really see michael do you know so but, okay all i'm gonna say is speed demon and the girl's mine and then that... and maybe and then maybe um um streetwalker too he does that and... streetwalker was weird bro and even um leave me alone as well that was weird uh... I think the most, and then either beat it. Yeah, like what? And then um, I remember for Thriller, for Thriller, they would just do this, you know, for like the whole song. Why don't you start with who? Who is it? Oh my god! Who is it? Yeah. Yeah. So random song selections, like extremely random. I have like like money, like what? And then, like you said, "Girl is mine" and Girl is "Leave mine. Me Alone." I mean, I, "Leave Me Alone" is yeah, a fun but, song. Yeah, to dance but you don't put "Man in the Mirror." Like, I, yeah, like "No Man in the Mirror." Jam's not in there. Was not on there. Um, was "Scream" on there? I don't think "Scream" no, was Scream on. Was not on there. "Scream" was on there. Uh, "Human Nature" was not on there either. No, and um, what's another one? Um, um, I said that's uh, all of them. "Jam." Yeah, I said "Jam." Um. Uh, you rock my world wasn't on there rock either. My world was not on there. Um, um, you are not alone. No, that wasn't on there either. 
on there either. Um, um, and then not for all copies, but yeah, I think Blood on the Dance Floor wasn't on all copies. Blood on the Dance Floor was on. I think it was only on the PS3. The PS3. Um, sixty. Another part of me, I think, was also on the PS3 that as well. On. The DS one does not include Thriller. No. For some reason, um, not on there. You could have yeah. replaced like Streetwalker and put Thriller on there. Yeah, and then um. Trying to remember what else. I remember for Don't Stop Do You Get Enough, it was a duet song, even though that was just a song he danced by himself. I thought that was weird. 2011. I think that's when Michael Jackson 3D, the Experience 3D, came out, uh, which I think might be the best version of the game. Oh, yeah. I love oh, would you also want to put in Captain EO as well? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah the tribute. Like the, the tribute that came out, I think, in 2010 as well. When they brought Cat EO back to the day. I, I loved Captain EO as a kid. I that was that was when I started seeing it and was aware of it. Um that was a that was a good move on Disney. Brought it back to Disney and um uh, yeah. Um and then they they had it for quite some time. Like, they did, I think up until for Disney World up until twenty sixteen, I believe. Twenty fifteen. Twenty fifteen? December okay. twenty fifteen is when it closed. Ah, uh, okay. That's why I thought it was twenty sixteen. Okay. Okay. Uh twenty eleven is immortal. Uh, Immortal was a good show. Tour. Uh, this was a tour as opposed to, um, the one. Um, yeah, one. J one, which was twenty thirteen. But now we have, uh, twenty twelve. Oh yeah, Immortal. I have nothing bad to say about Immortal. With the soundtrack, the soundtrack is amazing. Yeah, it, it's amazing in any way. I love the transitions. Love everything about it. Twenty twelve, we go to Bad Twenty Five, which in my opinion is the best project the estate has ever done. Same. Um, this is literally any anniversary album you wish they would do moving forward. Mm -hmm. Literally, the original rem remastered album with new songs that you never would have heard, and some songs from the speech, the special edition. Right. And then you have some. Like it's like the Spanish version of um yeah Spanish and French version of I just can't stop loving you uh, um had a couple remix like the bad remix with the uh, Pitbull um those were weird but they they, they they yeah they added new songs as well like at the time I think Free was pretty new was um new. Uh, Price of Fame was new Al, Al Capone that was new um I'm so blue and um Song Groove and Don't be messing around. Yeah, those are all new. The rest, like Fly Away and Streetwalker, were on um 2001. Yeah. And then I think I did, did any of all of them. That was, I think that's all of them, yeah. Wow. Um. Oh, and uh, yeah, I said, now we said Al Capone. Um, yeah. Then there was the documentary and the Wembley 90. Wembley 90, what am I saying? Yeah, Wembley, 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 Wembley 88, yeah. Wembley 88. Uh, back. I think that's overall really solid. Documentary was great. I think Wembley '88 is a great show. Um, the point that people had with Wembley was the fact that it was, it was not remastered. No, yeah, it wasn't, and the fact that they didn't, they like, apparently there's film ver a version of it, and they didn't use that one instead. Like I know a lot of fans don't like that. That's tape, yeah, yeah. They use it from like a like say like basically Wembley '88. That would that is what it would look like if the concert was leaked. Essentially, yeah. Like if it was leaked, it would. Have... Also, I heard the. I think they did some editing on the the the, the drum. Yeah, they. I think what happened is that. Uh, I guess due to the acoustics of Wembley Stadium, I guess like it made it sound the way it does. It it sounds different compared if you if you if you're really in deep with like the bad tour stuff, it sounds really different compared to your standard bad tour show, but. Yeah, I think they chose like a different audio source. I I genuinely believe they took it from the film source instead of the actual soundboard. So I think that's why it sounds like that. Yeah. Um, but yeah, overall though, I mean, uh, yeah. I like bad. I like the bad tour. I thought the the show they chose was great. I think I think bad 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 twenty five was just overall a great project. It was it was, it was incredible. I think it's the best thing they did. Um, they should have kept on that going with dangerous and dangerous and thriller and they didn't they uh, haven't done it like no. they haven't done it so, neither with off the wall either which is just a shame but 2013 uh michael jackson won which is still going on today i've heard nothing but amazing things about it so we'll just you know i think the only thing people might complain about that is they promote it too much mm. uh, this is probably going with 
what what else was going on later yeah. on on the road. Other than that, it's a great show. Um, twenty fourteen Escape. I remember the marketing for Escape was better than any other release after this. Yeah. Uh, well, albums. I mean, um, I remember them counting down the days for Escape. I remember L.A. Reid interviews. So we're we're going. Oh on. yeah, those are good. They were like this is what we did with the Timbaland was talking about how he did the songs and yeah and iHeartRadio Music Awards and the Billboard Awards for Slave of the Roots like this album was like because I had new new Michael Jackson songs knew this right people were complaining about the multi uh, the uh, remixes yeah they they were mad that they didn't release the originals and then I think eventually later they did but just it proves to me that anybody's gonna complain even if it's new things we're getting yeah yeah so it's like. That's kind of hypocritical because everyone's wanting new music and all but, that. Um, it's not really new music people are asking for anymore. Everyone's really asking for 4K videos. 4K videos, just re-releases and remasters. That's kind of what we want now. Concerts. We want concerts. Concerts is a number one. I For me personally, that's what we need. Concerts? Like concerts, and, just uh, release them. Like make a box set and just release it with a concert, you right. know? Dangerous 25 set. It'd be same really the same thing with bad 25 really like yeah. concert munich 92 you would get or something else or and then you would get the um the the, the disc two with all those demos we got we got on youtube work that body she got it um go somewhere to love her um um what's another one uh ha um, happy birthday lisa you know yeah uh mine is the magic you know yeah, well that's technically released but you, you you can still put that on there you can still put it on there yeah yeah, I still put it on there. Um, so we got um twenty fourteen Escape. Escape was a great project, and we we really I I really wish, um, they did another Escape type project. Same, same. The fact that they got like Justin Timberlake. That definitely drew more. I think I think that's one thing that I would love them to do for like the biopic. Mm -hmm. If they were to get like current artists to do like like remixes covers, with with yeah, that would definitely draw a lot more people into Michael now absolutely that'd be great um and they did that with, with justin timberlake in uh, 2014 still waiting for that weekend collab i'm still yes. i still want that yes i want that i need that uh michael and um yay collab yo my god again bro oh that'd be good that would actually be really cool um 2016 uh based on the success of bad 20 okay this is a uh, journey to motown off the wall my Doc personal favorite documentary. Very good documentary. I think it's the best of the trilogy. And um yeah. Uh it's more on information than rare videos. Yeah. Then we get Michael Jackson's Halloween in 2017, along with Oh, here we go. <laughs> here we go. <laughs> this is where it starts to get bad. Like, yeah. <laughs> so like Scream was horrible. Scream Halloween special. I didn't even know this happened until like two years later. The Halloween and special was terrible, horrible, horrible Halloween special. Oh, shit. The animation was bad. We the, the story was horrible. It was it's not good, not good at all. Um, and then um, what happened? There was the Scream compilation that yeah. was they promoted it like it was a new album. Uh, but in reality, it was just a compilation album full of songs. Uh, and it was, I, uh, yeah, it was bad, it was really bad. Then there was the uh, Pepsi cans, uh, oh, oh yeah, packs of Pepsi cans. Uh, with my, was that 2016 or 2017? 17 into okay. 2018. Okay, 2018 also had the on the wall exhibition, which was amazing. That was a good one, that was a really good one. I wish that went to America. I wish that went to hundred percent, hundred percent. Don't matter to me. Ah, uh, yes, Drake. Uh, I thought it was cool. Um, that was I didn't like the way they mixed Michael's voice in that. I'm not gonna lie to you. When I first heard it, I thought that was the weekend. <laughs> I thought that was the week because it sounded. It did not sound like him at all, man. To me, like, like you could, you, you could. I think the one thing that gave it away was like the vibrato. Probably, yeah. Me, like you could hear that to say, yeah. Apparently, that was well, that was a Paul Anka, um, yeah. It was from those sessions. Then we have um, the Diamond Celebration, ah, uh, yes, the very expensive celebration. That yeah, very cool, it's, though. I liked, uh, was, yeah, the way they did that. Mark Ronson and Usher were there, mm -hmm. 
we have Thriller 3D. Uh, yeah. Which was a cool thing they did. That was, that was pretty cool. And we have um the This Is It box set. Woo! A $200 box set of shit uh, that we already have. 2019, right? Yeah. Yeah, it was 2019, yeah. Oh, my God. That was not good. It was two hundred dollars. Like two hundred dollars for a coffee table book full of images that we already have. <laughs> um, then basically a re-release of the album and the movie. I think. Um, yeah. And it's not even like they re-edited it or anything like that, or added anything. It was just the same movie that we got from back in the day. They didn't really do anything like they that. Didn't do anything, and they charged you two hundred dollars for it. It was horrible genuinely yeah. horrible little little money grab and then they you know around when you know what happened mm-hmm. they they put wembley and bucharest on their youtube channels and they for a limited time that year they put ghosts and then they took it down and then they keep bringing it back every year ghosts limited time take it down meanwhile yeah. wembley and bucharest are still on their channel yeah you could keep ghosts on your channel i i don't know why they want to put it out like for what is the purpose of that Shh. Like, what is the purpose? What goes in her chain? Like what? No. Keep it. Keep, keep it, it up. Like we keep taking it down and up. Okay. Um. Then we have. Uh. They were going to do history twenty five. It was gonna be like a Munich. Um. Like I'm not gonna lie. I'm kind of glad that didn't happen. I'm happy it didn't happen either. Um. They could have. They could have done something better with that, but no. Um. Then we have. Um. MJ the musical. That was good. MJ that was very good. Is. It is also one of the best things that they've agreed to do. Um, I love MJ the Musical. It's a great thing. It's it's doing very good for his legacy. And now they expand, expand into West End and tour. Mm-hmm. Now, Hamburg and Sydney future. Then we have... Um, <laughs> oh, boy. Um, we're, Thriller 40. Uh, okay. Um, that was that was something. Uh, that was something. It was the album. Yet they say they their their FAQ says that we want what is they release all songs of the fans have leaked. If we released demos by themselves, they would not show Michael in his best light. So, are you talking about a song like "Who Do You Know"? Got the hots. Got the hots. Um, freaking- what a lovely way to go. <laughs> Mike's mix behind the mask when the mixing was shit. It was in a mono mix the whole time. They did not touch anything. They like they just threw those songs in there and then only, released them. Like, no effort. Like okay, listen. I know um, new music would be great, but release a good song. Chicago 1945 is worth the release. Like, like why are songs that are presented at seminars? better than what the estate themselves put out re- uh, like after escape i don't know escape was amazing yeah but listen i know fans love who do you know which is which is great but me personally i wanted a, a, like a new song i wanted like a dance track yeah i wanted something like that i didn't want like when people say i want new music which which like what type of songs do you want? any any song that you want to throw in or do you want like an actual Dude, good song dream away another amazing song like that's it i want a song that's as beautiful as, as incredible as chicago 1945 and then i want a song as beautiful as dreams away if we could just get those type of songs onto these albums and um i gotta hear buffalo bill first before deciding on uh i would love buffalo uh, bill. i gotta hear that see if it's good or not I would love to hear Buffalo Bill. Snipe it, gotta come in. Uh, but um, let's see. Um, yeah, Thriller Forty Mid. The documentary was the worst that they've ever done. That documentary was terrible too. Horrible documentary. Terrible. People think it was literally an estate promotional. It really was. <laughs> it was now. Then now they're doing well. The biopic, which is. It's looking. Let, great. Let's see. Let's see what happens. See what let's happens. see what happens. But, but I'm seeing nothing but positive things, negative things. It's it, it's sort of in the middle with it. But I'm he- I'm hearing mostly people excited. Yeah. Um. But yeah. Um, let's just wait till it comes out. Wait till it comes out. Now we have the merch. MJ merch, the new merchandise that they that they uh, you know it's gotten some heat. It's it's a mixed bag. 
it's a mixed bag. Um, I can see like the style that they're going with, like especially like the bad logo one. Like, yeah, those. Like, you, know, you, could, you could put the original logo, but I think uh, someone I follow me had had a strong point. Like, the Michael merch when he was alive was pretty bad. Yeah, it was kind of bland shirts like with this the the album cover logo, like and a hat with like the dangerous. Yeah, like but it was nothing really special. It's still like I think whether he's dead or alive, the merch could be better. You yeah. know, especially if you can have like designers that. Yeah. But, I mean, hey, I mean, people may not like the detail, but the merch they did for Dangerous Thirty was unbelievable. Same for I remember they had like a bad tour like jacket where it had for all the dates and stuff that was phenomenal that looked I beautiful. That, yeah, I remember the state did get your bad tour tote bag. So you can save the environment, make the uh, all the cities around. Like the what? <laughs> yeah, totally. Um, Spend forty dollars for that one. And yeah, they think the I mean prices prices are common for. Yeah, no. The prices, listen, the pri the prices just don't hold up to the product that's being sold. You know. Yeah, then they had like the Neverland collection with the. Uh... uh, that that was okay. I I I I liked it. I liked the concept, but. The execution just wasn't good. Yeah, for the 40. Oh, and then the immersive experiences. Ah, yes, the immersive experience. Those were also fun. pretty hit or miss. The, the, the one in Germany was horrible. Mm -hmm. Um, the one in New York was amazing. And then the one in Vegas was um was fine. It wasn't yeah. good, amazing, but there were a few things I liked. Like the I liked the the Earth song, um, like little thing. It, it was kind of an inspiration, like this is it, with like mm -hmm. Like the like the little forest, yeah. And then the um, it, it kind of reminded me of like a like Epcot. <laughs> <laughs> but um, and then um, I liked uh, I'm I'm literally Brad Sundberg. I I love Disney and Michael Jackson. Anyway, New York MJ seminar, go check it out. Brad Buck's just gonna be there. Anyway, yeah, it that's not a state affiliated. Same thing with Thriller Night. Uh, yeah, which are all those outside like we all the but we are the world documentary that was great amazing documentary so we basically covered everything that the estate has done over the past 15 years yeah um if we were rate that from one to ten what would it be i'd probably give it a six and a half seven out of ten i'd give it a six out of ten yeah like i'd, I'd probably say like it's sort of like they're just they're, they're kind of going in the right direction with like okay we, we want to get new people when it was music but it's like, which they are doing. But if you really want to do that, then, I mean, I know they have a lot of stuff going with Sony now and HBO. Yeah. With the catalog situation. Yeah, they, they're like, I think, I, did they, I think they already sold it. Yeah, behind the scenes, they're going through quite a bit. And it's definitely like a Sony business thing mm -hmm. so in ways I could understand. But at the same time, if you're comparing it to all these other states, also look at other, I mean, they're, they're, I'm pretty sure there's other states that are worse yeah i mean the 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 Aaliyah state back in the day used to be pretty bad but now it seems like there's an optimistic future for that estate now now that they're planning to release um an album full of unreleased songs and then um they're also going to release a documentary as well about her life um then you got the beatles estate that beatles estate they remaster their albums and like a and they put it in a brand new light and they release all these box sets they do. They just not too long ago they did the Get Back mini series, which was a phenomenal yeah. mini series. Check it out if you haven't. What about the, uh, the Elvis Estate? Oh, I'm not too familiar with the Elvis Estate, but from what I see, I mean, they seem like they're doing a good job with him. Um, the thing is, they have years and years and years of just like posthumous albums and stuff. So it's like they might not. I don't know if they're doing a lot right now, but they have like twenty. Wow. 20 plus 20 30 years uh worth of just stuff then um you got the Jimi hendrix estate where they re listen Jimi hendrix i believe he only released three albums in his life they released one posthumous album and then many compilation albums of like alternate like they released a blues album where it's just him performing like blues versions of his songs um they really they're releasing many concerts uh like not too long ago they released um a show that he did in 1967 um so yeah, like right now it's just been, and on top of that, they are also doing anniversary albums as well of his music. Um, 
And then there's the Prince Estate that's doing their stuff too. That you know, thing, man. Like box sets, Blu-rays of con concerts that we've never seen. Right. So many new songs, bootlegs that we've that never been officially released. Right. They are doing so much, yet even their fans still complain. Yeah. You you got you got you, it's a mix when it comes to the Prince State like they released nothing but incredible stuff. Diamonds and Pearls Deluxe, you know, was a phenomenal uh, box set. Uh, could it have been better? Sure, yes, yeah, so absolutely. But overall, um, I think the project is great. I have it myself because of the uh, Glam Slam performance, um, which is a phenomenal performance. If you haven't seen it, please see it. Um, but yeah, no, overall the Prince State's phenomenal. Um, you know, they're always re-releasing albums that are hard to get, um, or they're basically putting albums on Spotify and all these, uh, music services that we don't have from the MPG music club. Um, on top of that, we're just getting new stuff every year, like every year, even yeah. the, if we don't have, if we're not getting like a deluxe set, we're either getting a re-release or something, or a remaster, um, every year they're always doing something every year and that's incredible on their end um so yeah shout out to the prince of state they're dope i i, I had to move locations because I'm charging my uh computer so yeah. <laughs> so i mean right i mean we we pretty much covered what we really had to cover i mean i i mean i don't really have anything else to really say i mean i do think um oh let's talk about their instagram Oh, oh boy! A great topic, or their social media in general. How do you feel about their Instagram? Uh, uh, that's all I gotta say. I think it's pretty bad. I don't um, like it. Yeah, I, 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 I do think the the um. So let's go through there. There is like, what do they post? So they post pictures of Michael from Getty Images, and they put captions on, on them. It's. <laughs> They put they they put up or just the occasional low quality post that fans will go ape shit about. Oh, bad quality, bad. But here's the thing, I remember there was a Prince uh, video, in the worst quality ever. No fans were complaining. None of their fans were complaining about quality. No. But in the MJ the MJ page, MJ fans they'll complain about the quality. Right. I think the reason why they're why you see MJ fans complaining more than, or at least uh, the reason why you see MJ fans probably complaining about something like that, uh, versus like Prince fans is because I think it's because MJ fans overall we are really not getting a whole lot from the yeah. estate. If I'm gonna be honest with I you, agree. I mean, from what I read, it seemed like a lot, but it's not, it's really when you compare it to a bunch of these other estates, for instance, the Beatles estate, the Prince estate, the Jimi Hendrix estate. Um, the Elvis estate, you compare it to all of these guys, it's not as much. And in even if it's not as much, the quality that they're of what we're getting is ten times better than what we're getting here in the MJ estate. And how do you how do you how do you feel about the, the people that say, Oh, they don't owe you anything? We have enough. Um, you know, you're you're complaining, uh, be grateful. Um, you know, you know, all this stuff. I mean I mean, knowing how certain MJ fans are, they'll be ungrateful about something simple as MJ the Musical, which is a great project. Right. And they'll complain about that when they would want an impersonator to play Michael Jackson instead of a regular actor who has professional experience. If okay. an impersonator were to play MJ in the show, you know, people probably won't. I, I, I don't know if they won't they will go as far as not see it, but critics aren't going to take it Seriously, if they right. were an impersonator that has no, no acting experience, this is a Broadway show we're talking about, not right. an impersonator show. It, it's not that. And I'm sick and tired of, listen, I understand that, you know, they have their own Instagram, but the estate does have a right to promote the musical on their page because, again, it's official and it's something that is it's it's global now really they got they got the right. tour you got west end now you got hamburg coming in but i really really hope that they hold that same energy with the biopic 
I'm pretty right. sure they're gonna. I think once they actually wrap up filming, I think that's when they're really gonna. That's when that's when they're and they're really gonna start the Instagram page for the the biopic, and then they're gonna really start with that. Um, and I hope that they they pull that same energy in um, with the biopic too. I mean, yeah, it's sort of like the MJ one promotion, the MJ musical promotion, the uh, the fan art, which I really think they should do more fan centered things. Yeah, I really wish they would also share like content creators mm -hmm. like me and MJ Fangirl, and uh, I think considering that we might be some, two of the, the most biggest, like some of the biggest channels on here, next to. Um, some other ones, but they're not really like, active on YouTube. Mm -hmm. Um, and I, I, I wish they would do that. I, I genuinely think that they would get a lot of like, like, because, because remember, this is this is a, it's a community. So I just think that, and I wish a lot of the states would do that with them, um, fans. You know, you gotta yeah. do stuff with that. But I mean, here, here's my take when it comes to the whole like estates and oh, they don't have to do this. All right, basically, here's what I found uh, from jessicawilsonlaw.com. It's about basically estate planning for musicians. They say, in addition to having the same estate planning needs as everyone, musicians must designate who will receive their copyrights, royalty streams, termination rights, and preserve the integrity of their works upon their death. All right. Now, essentially, I, can't, I don't want to say that basically what the estate doing is not that because in some ways yeah you could say that's what they're doing they're doing the anniversary albums and they're doing you know mj1 they did uh they're doing the musical and the biopic and like that's definitely preserving the uh integrity of their works but here's the thing though if you're going to be doing this you need to give us quality products yes and some of the stuff that they gave us was the complete opposite. All right. Look at the Scream compilation album. Okay. Look at um the Michael Jackson Halloween special. Look at um Yeah, like I mean that was that was very controversial uh, over the fact that they didn't even tell us that they were they had Jason Malachi do the songs. Right. You know, and it's like, and even the the posthumous albums like Thriller Forty and the the documentary like Thriller, uh, the, the Thriller Forty documentary, like, like the merch, not like like the 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 new merch is definitely a mess. It's getting it's getting better. It's getting the merch yeah. is definitely getting better, but comparing it to two, three, four years ago, it was not. Oh, the merch from like year two, like four years ago, where it that... was horrible, horrible yeah. merch. And listen, when you look at Michael Jackson, right? Michael Jackson was always about quality. And I feel like if you're going to run the estate, right, you got to basically keep that same mindset, yeah. make quality products, stop giving us these lackluster products that aren't really going to do much, you know? How do you like, think like, would Michael Jackson give us something like, I don't know, uh, fucking uh, the, the Scream compilation? He gave us... Thriller twenty five and that was pretty bad. So I don't, I don't know. I like Thriller twenty five. I, I mean, thought Thriller twenty five was phenomenal for what it was. I mean, judging by what it was, we didn't get that many unreleased songs. Um, the, but here's the thing, though. It's like I think I I think I know what you're gonna say. The remixes, the fact that he get, got a lot of that. He was working with those artists specifically, specifically Ye and Rihanna. And not Rihanna, what am I saying? Um, Fergie, Fergie, yeah, and Will I Am, uh, and Will I Am. Okay, I can't take that back because it's not that I don't like Thriller 25, it's just it I may not be as good as Thriller 40, but it's not a bad product. Not a, yeah, it's like, eh, they that was kind of a stretch, but um, and some of those remixes have been growing, like the Akon star and something that's that's that I love that, I love it, I love it, yeah. What am I saying? I love the PYT remix I as love, well. What what the fuck am and I? And then and then even on the album as well, they have the uh the oh, interviews the, 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 the um um the was it was it the um the, the, the interview they were like the interviews. Oh, Carousel wasn't that? Yeah, with um yeah with Quincy Jones. I thought that was great. 
And then, um, and what's even yeah. great about the remixes too is that he puts his own vocals, like his, like he, oh, like new dude, vocals. No, no, that was see. great. That was so that great. Was cool. Um, and then, um, I well, okay, I will say, Blood on the Dance Floor was probably the worst thing Michaels have ever, my Michaels ever gave us. Um, there is Invincible, but okay. Invincible. Well, I think Blood, I think Blood on the Dance Floor is slightly worse because one, that remix album, the remix portion should have been a separate album altogether. I guess, yeah. Um, meanwhile, the the Blood and the Dance Floor album could have added a few more songs to make that a full on album called Blood on the Dance Floor. Probably, yeah. Invincible, again, it has bangers, but I made a video about this so you can check it out on um, why Invincible needs to be fixed. Invincible is Michael's weakest album as a solo artist. Mm -hmm. Um. Oh, I I also forgot to mention two things, three things, one. They also did the Sirius XM uh, radio station. Oh, the Michael station. That was okay. 19, I think. Yeah, I thought that was okay. I thought it was... I, I, I thought it was cool that they would also play songs like from the family and his inspirations and... The, yeah. I, I think that was pretty cool. And that I think that gave me inspiration to do like a my own little station. For Michael. Mm -hmm. it, was, it wasn't really a radio station. It was like a live stream type thing. Um... Speaking of radio stations, expect that podcast from us soon. We 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 got to do one. We 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 should. We need to. Let me know what you all would think. Yeah. That. And then um, I also said, um, that they also did the 4K videos. Yes. Beated, finally. Uh, beat it in Thriller and not Billie Jean. Not Billie Jean, even though they could have given us like a 720, 10 to 80p version of it. Yeah, and they definitely should. Uh, get on all those, all those uh, 4K. I, I, I really wish. And then here they, 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 they also say, "Oh, Prince is a genius. He was an incredible artist." But nobody can compare Prince and Michael, and nobody can compare the Prince estate to the Michael Jackson estate. A little known fact: in 2019, the catalog enjoyed 7.3 billion streams. Now, what? Now, here's here's something. This is a kind of an unrelated topic, but I feel like when people compare Michael to other artists, they don't really talk about talent at all. No. Talk, it's it's it, numbers. Stats. It's numbers and stats. Numbers and stats. That's like, not how you compare like, somebody. I'm sorry. Know, like, that's my opinion. Like I see it all over the bird app. I see it's everywhere. And it pisses me off because it's like you really think because an artist could still have so many streams and they can make shit music. Exactly. I'm not, I'm not saying that about Michael. I'm saying that so say like, okay, someone could win eight Grammys in a night. Say it wasn't Michael Jackson, and they could still be like, piece of shit person too. Like you know, listen, I mean, you, you could look at somebody like I think Taylor Swift. She won like eight or nine last Grammys or yeah. something like that. And like, she, listen, not everybody likes Taylor Swift. All right, there, there's definitely some Michael fans that will disregard her music and not say she's a good artist. You know, so it's I, like I, I think she's talented. I think she's amazing. But I'm just saying, like, yeah, anybody can win. Eight Grammys. Anybody can get ten number ones on right. the Billboard chart. Anybody can get these stats. As an artist, I think it's actually it's actually like disrespectful and damn near like because it's, it's, it's yeah because that's why I hate the Michael and Prince compare. I fucking loathe it with a passion because you you can't stats is not what makes an like, artist I've great. I'm attacked, sorry, I've gone attacked many times for you know saying that they're both amazing at like equally because i because like because i can't yes i'm i'm a michael channel too but it's like you need to grow and learn to appreciate other things and absolutely prince is uh, he he is an artist that i like i love as well and then we look at all these other artists i don't like to yes i understand my like impact yes my michael was michael but mm -hmm. when I listen to an artist, I don't want to think about that. No, I'm thinking about the music. I want the music to 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 that. That's what gets me to appreciate an artist is the music. Absolutely. And sure. It, the biopic is going to get a lot of streams. Sure. That that's great. Michael deserves all that because he's Michael Jackson. But so but anyone else could do that. Like, so. So what? Prince had. Yeah, sure. But, but one thing people got to realize Prince didn't care about fame. No, he was an artist. He was an artist, and he wanted to just satisfy his audience. 
And I think that's what a lot of a lot of artists want to do. They don't they don't expect the fame. They don't fucking right. expect it. You can't act like they're gonna like they wanted the fame. Because I don't think they 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 they, they just yeah, out of nowhere and say eight Grammys is thriller. But you know, Santana also did uh, they also won eight um eight Grammys in the night too, right? Yeah. Yeah, but let's 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 give them credit and not say oh only michael deserves the credit but because you know she's michael and fuck everybody else i right. like that mindset it's, it's immature and it's stupid i know this doesn't have to do with the estate but i could go on and on and on and on uh and i only mention that because the estate yes it this is a problem because the estate likes to bring up stats too like thriller uh is the uh like, yes we get it thriller is iconic we have to blabber in our faces all over again. Right. Yes. I Maybe to a, a person that's casual, yes, you could blabber on to them. But to people that we, like, we already know this stuff. Right. We know that Thriller's iconic. You don't have to blabber. We we know that Michael Jackson's iconic. You don't have to blabber in our face. Maybe mm -hmm. maybe, maybe the public, because they are because they because they don't know much, the biopic can do that, because because the biopic is... Not made for fans. I don't know why people have to fucking think about this all the time. I don't, I don't, I don't fucking know. It's it's go off, Joey. Go off. It is, it is it is made for the it is it, it is made for the public and 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 I'm pretty sure mo most people know that by now. That yeah. and and I think they're going. I I think they're going to do a good job um, with the content. I hope. Um. So let, let's see what happens um, with that. But I'm sick and tired. I'm sick and tired of everything on both sides. Yeah. I'm tired. Annoying. It's like if, if, if the state doesn't. Oh yeah. And another thing I want to say. And this is something that everybody likes to do. Don't. But, I'm going to just say it again. Don't ever judge something before it comes out. You can have thoughts, opinions speculations but those opinions can be stronger later on when you've actually watched the product i remember when thriller 40 was announced like the documentary and i remember, I remember everyone was asking where's the doc where's the doc where's the doc we finally got it now, it sucks you know it, it, it's like you wanted this so bad and there you go there you fucking have it <laughs> And you didn't listen to the people that saw it themselves and said it was not good. Company name. Company name. Was Company name. Wild. My fucking ass. <laughs> I swear. I knew. No, I didn't know all the way, but. But let me. Wow. I probably got a text because I was screaming. <laughs> oh. <laughs> did I actually get it set? Uh, I did. <laughs> Lower your voice, Joe. Stop screaming. Okay. <laughs> uh, that's making it on the final cut right there. That is definitely making it on the final cut. <laughs> that's a final. Yeah, I love that. That was great. Night. Night with the heart. <laughs> <laughs> Stop, stop screaming <laughs> stop screaming trying to be, trying to go to bed <laughs> love that, that but yeah amazing. you know that's the that's the passion, passion. company name <laughs> i am not mad <laughs> okay anyway the estate sucks they they, they look like they're doing better let's just see where, where this goes Let's That's see. Yeah, let's see. Yeah, let let let's see where this goes. We, let's make a follow up video, like in five years, and see where this happens. I mean, right now, they're, ah, they're, they're I mean, they're not like because again, I never like consider them to be the absolute worst of what they do because I I I understand what they're trying to go for for an audience mm -hmm. with okay we want to get michael's music to new generations but at the same time give us you know get 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 get, get like, like if you want to get someone into michael jackson 
You don't even have to put out new music every five minutes. No, you don't. And honestly, appeal to the fans too. You don't want to just focus on a specific market. If you're giving a product, you want to appeal to everybody, not just a specific market. 100%. Because that's not how you're going to make, you know, you want to make as much profit as you want at the end of the day. So if you're just going to make something that appeals to a certain group, you're not going to make a lot of money. And essentially that's what's been going on. And, you know, look at what, look at, look at them now. They're selling Michael's catalog. Um, for reasons that we're not aware of, though, I've had I've had my speculations. I've heard one say that it's because it's so that they can do these types of projects where they can do posthumous projects and like release unreleased music. But other than that, it's like I think if they just gave us a lot of quality products and focused on the fans and the people who want to get into him, I really think that we would not be at the situation right now. Um, yeah, you know. And it's like, but, it, again, yeah. we don't, we don't need, we don't need like albums every year. You know, if yeah. they would have given us like short films, like, like brand new short films, like under his name or oh, speaking just of type of projects that like short films. Oh, yeah. I forgot something. There was a wannabe star in something short, like video. Oh, like, like a lyric like, video. Like Skater boys. Like, like, I don't, I got to rewatch this. This was um, like. This was like I think the I think the complaint people the people got from this was the the fact that literally there was nothing Michael like nothing that was visual with Michael Jackson whatsoever. No, in this video it was like there was literally nothing. Uh, it was just a bunch of like um like anime style characters. <laughs> That's literally that official. Oh, and then also don't forget that in the closet edit that they did in Valentine's Day. Remember that? I don't remember that actually. Let me see if I could uh, scroll, because it was probably one of the worst thing, the worst edits they've ever done. Oh no! And then they, then they advertise their Spotify playlists. Oh yeah. And, oh, over and over and over and over. Br Branca doesn't do the the talking videos anymore. Oh no. Yeah, the, the, the um, the Ichi Storybook. Huh? No. Where's the? Uh, I'm trying to get to that in the closet. I gotta, I gotta see that. Hey, I, okay, so here's the start in something. Uh, yeah, there, there's that. Yeah, yeah. That, that, that's the start in something. That was a weird one. Then we go to the like the the then okay, I'm scrolling down to Instagram. We get the, the Thriller Forty track reveals. Uh, with the uh that formed forty. Uh, <laughs> the um oh, and then the fucking canvas art. Uh, logo. <laughs> Uh, Thriller 40 logo that we got and they, I remember fans were oh that was bad no I I actually like did not like that logo at all like it was what <laughs> literally somebody probably did that on photoshop literally or... literally like that was, was terrible fans literally found the font like yeah they did found the font for and the... the fact and the fact that fans could make the artwork better than the actual album is insane to me right Oh my god, I'm trying to find that in the closet uh edit. Um, but um I remember it being really bad. Oh yeah, so we get like this Valentine's Day edit over here. This one. Oh, okay. And then there was this one, which I'm gonna show you. I think it I think it was 2020, I think. It might it might have been 2020. I could be wrong, or 2019. I think it was 2020. And then they did the yep, found it. Oh my god. Oh my god, who did this? So so yeah, so it says so open the door and you will see there's secrets they so be free. I uh, oh my god. I don't know who did that. What that that looks like a fan did it on a fucking that was... like that's the worst. What? I think John Branca did that one himself. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> you know what's sad is that there are fan, there are actual like good editors in the fan community. And I'm just oh, surprised that they don't pay them to do I, stuff like on, that. God. Some you talented artists. Like, I'm going to say it now. Like, you got like Saturday Bang. Mm hmm. Screen, you know, mm -hmm. all these amazing artists, and he's like, and he's, he's like, come on, like, 
I just find it sad that the estate isn't willing to pay to go out of their way and get those guys and just and pay them to Planet do stuff Michael, like that. man, we got Planet Michael. Like, uh, right? Come on, bro. listen. We need our funding. Somebody give us money. Michael Jackson theme park, museum, anything like like Neverland restore. Like, oh. But John Branca wants to make a Michael Jackson uh, casino. A uh, Michael J a museum and casino are in the works. Uh, Absolutely funny how he wants to make a Michael Jackson casino. A Michael Jackson a casino. Because when I think of Michael Jackson, I think of getting ripped off a hundred dollars and drinking my ass off because I'm in debt. <laughs> That's what I think of when I think of Michael Jackson. All right, to wrap up the video, John uh, is a lonely man. <laughs> He's a scheme head who has a naughty plan. That is harassment. Let me stop it. Um, and the bill of 40. Driving me wild. Your fans annoy me. The complaining never, ever stops. With Thriller 40. With, with, with the estate in general. So Yeah. Uh, fuck the estate. That the was... estate sucks. Um, <laughs> it's a... Uh... It's a hit or miss, really. And they really are a hit or miss. Uh, they look like they're getting better, but let's just see what happens. Let's see what they do. I mean, imagine if they came out tomorrow and said, let's announce a, a, a Michael Jackson cologne. Right, um, yeah. Uh, let's get some My Michael Jackson cologne. It's a Michael Jackson karaoke player. Uh, get, a, get, a get, Michael, get your Michael Jackson get a, uh, get toilet a, paper. Michael Michael Jackson toilet paper with his face all over it. Michael Jackson um, tampons, you know. Michael Jackson um, cookbook. Uh, with my, my, okay, that, okay, that that would actually be pretty cool. Um, the Michael Jackson cookbook. The Michael Jackson cookbook with all his favorite foods and his recipes. Shit better be good. Um, and then you would get the the John Branca bobblehead. Right. Yep. The, the Sold John, at the Michael John Jackson Branca website. John Branca bobblehead because John Branca is pretty much the Vince McMahon of the MJ estate. That's that's, that's what he is. He it was, is. It, his people, you have a love hate relationship with John Branca, right? You know, it, like people have a love hate relationship with Vince McMahon. It's like you, like no chance in hell. Really. No chance. No chance. And can you just picture John Branca walking out? Yes, like, absolutely. Like MJ headquarters. Like, it is like MJ headquarters. Absolutely. Walks out wrestling ring. We start a wrestling foundation for the MJ fans. Comes out, walks like Vince. No chance in hell. No you chance. Forgot. No chance. <laughs> Hello, it's John Branca, and I'm here to announce um, kick our new Michael Jackson estate. Oh, uh, heal LA. Uh, found it. He's like he 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 introduces Heel LA, and he's like, okay, here's Prince, Jafar, Graham King, and Twelve Foot Quelp, and um, Coleman Domingo. I won a Grammy. Shout out to Coleman Grammy. Domingo. Shout Grammy out to Coleman Domingo. And my son, who I beat in the video. Okay, so okay, no one. <laughs> okay, let's see. Let's see who gets that joke. Anyway, that'll be it. That's done. You have anything else to say? Uh, fuck the MJ estate. <laughs> All right, everybody. I'll see you guys in the next video. Wow, this was a great one. This is <laughs> a great one. Bye-bye.